Hello friends, this video on organic chemistry basic part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We'll talk about some of the features of the pi bond now. So if you see the p orbitals are mutually parallel and perpendicular to the plane of molecule. You see this is the plane of molecule. We saw in the early example also this p orbitals are they are mutually parallel because if you see this is parallel to this but they are both are perpendicular to the plane of molecules and they form pi bond something like the second feature is the rotation of the carbon-carbon bond is restricted. For example, in this case, this is ethane. There is no double bond. So this can rotate actually. It can rotate. It can rotate. It can rotate. But in this case, since it's a double bond, it can't rotate. This rotation is restricted. It can't rotate. Hope you understand. So if you see uh, this carbon, right? This hydrogen, actually three hydrogens here. These are three hydrogens. This hydrogen is here. These three hydrogens can actually rotate. So here also these hydrogens, they can rotate. They can rotate. This can also rotate because there's a single bond. But the moment you have double bond, this rotation is restricted. Correct? So that's what it says that the carbon-carbon double bond is restricted. And if you see, this rotation also plays a critical role. Sometimes this will rotate and it will have, it will exhibit different properties. For example, hyperconjugation on the property exhibited because of a single bond. There's a single bond, this rotates and this hydrogen is attracted to this and it forms a hyperconjugation. We'll, we'll explain this in the next few slides when we talk about hyperconjugation. But this uh, single bond and double bond makes a difference. Right? Here also if you see this double bond, since so the double bond, this rotation is prohibited. We, you can't rotate this hydrogen now. See logically also if you see if you have one, one stick only, you can rotate things. If you have two sticks, the rotation is prohibited. Just think from that perspective. The third property of the pi bond is since there, is, there are a lot of electrons here, there are a lot of electrons here, they are electron rich, right? So they can be easily attacked. They are vulnerable. Why? See, electron is like money, right? So they have more money, so people can attack. So the, the electrophiles, which loves electrons, they can easily attack these compounds. And thus, they are not very stable also. So if you compare these two, this is more stable because this can easily be attacked. This can easily be attacked here because these are all electrons here. Because these are all electrons, right? These are all electron rich thing here. These are all electrons, electrons cloud here. It will easily be attacked, right? But there's no extra electrons here, so they cannot easily be attacked. So if you have pi bonds, since the pi bond has good electron cloud, they can easily be attacked. So there are three different features of pi. The question says, what are the hybridization state of each of the carbon atoms in the following compound? The first is CH2CO. So let's me uh, draw this. It looks something like this. We have to find the hybridization state. So this carbon has how many bonds? One, two, three. Right? So it is one, two, three. That means it is sp2. See, one will have sp. Sorry, two will have sp2. Three is sp2. Four is sp3. Correct? There can't be one. It has to be two minimum. Because one carbon has to be linked to two minimum. So if there are two, it is sp2, three, it is sp2, four, sp3. Correct? You just count sp2, sp2, there is one plus two, three, one plus three, four. So this is, this carbon atom is linked to one, two and three atoms. Forget about the bond, single bond, double bond. This carbon, carbon one is linked to one, two, three atoms. One carbon atom, two hydrogen atoms. So it is sp2. This carbon atom is linked to one carbon atom and one oxygen atom, right? This is sp. Correct. Let's take the next one. CH3. CH3. Then I have CH. Then I have double bond CH2. This is the structure. Let's name this carbon. So let me name this carbon as carbon 1, carbon 2 and carbon. The first carbon is linked to how many atoms? 1, 2, 3, 4. Correct? 4 atoms. So this guy is sp3. Let's see this carbon. The second carbon is linked to 1, 2 and 3 atoms. So it is sp2. Let's see this carbon. This carbon is linked to 1, 2 and 3 atoms. This is sp2. Correct? 3 atoms sp2. Let's take the next example. This guy. 
CH3, there are two CH3. This is the structure. Correct? Yeah, this is the structure. Now let's see this. Let me number this carbon. So let me number this carbon as one. This is two and this is three. Right? This carbon atom is linked to one, two, three, four atoms. So four atoms is sp3. This guy is sp3. This carbon is linked to one, two, and three. So it is sp2. This carbon is linked to one, two, three, four again. So it is sp2. Pretty simple. Let's draw this guy. CH2, double bond CH, C, N. This is the structure. So let me number this carbon now. 1, 2. The first carbon is linked to 1, 2, and 3 atoms. Right? So 3 atom is what? SP2. So this guy is SP. The second carbon is linked to 1, 2, and 3 carbon. Three uh, atoms actually, so it is sp2 again. The third is linked to one and two, there is one nitrogen, one carbon, so it is two is sp. So this guy is sp hybridization. Let's take this C6S6. C6S6, the structure is like this. This is cyclic with six carbon, right? And we have six. Hydrogen. Six. But the tetravalency is not satisfied. So the double bond, double bond. This is the structure of C6X6. That is benzene, right? Now, now if you see each carbon has, if you see one, two, three, four bonds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, uh, this, this structure is satisfied. We will talk about these when we talk about how to write the structures, right? Just now, let me number this carbon. So this is carbon 1, this is carbon 2, this is carbon 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's see carbon 1. Carbon 1 is attached to how many atoms? 1 carbon, this is carbon 2, second carbon, carbon 6, hydrogen. There's 3. See, carbon 1 is attached to? Three atoms, so three atoms is sp2. This guy is sp2. Let's see the carbon 2. Carbon 2 is also attached to 1, 2 and 3 atoms, so this is also sp2. Similarly, if you see all the carbon atoms here, we see fourth carbon also, 1, 2 and 3. So it is sp2. All the carbon atoms here is sp2 hybridized because each of the carbon atoms is attached to three different atoms. Correct? So you want to find the hybridization just find that particular carbon atom is attached to how many other carbon or how many other atoms you can carbon nitrogen oxygen doesn't matter just count the number of other atoms that a carbon atom is attached to. and based on that you can tell what is the hybridization of the carbon atom so here we have to tell the sigma and pi bond in the following molecule c6x6 I just redo the structure, let me draw once again. This is the structure of C6S6, benzene, right? And there's one more bond here. And these are all carbon, I'm not point, but putting the carbon. The one, the big dots, they are all carbons. Right, they are carbons. So now you have to find the bond, sigma or pi. So this, if you see, or let me just draw it for convenience. So this guy is one carbon, one carbon, 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 carbon. So if you see this carbon hydrogen bond is single bond. Single bond means sigma. This also if you see single bond, sigma, single bond. This is also single bond, CH, this is also single bond. This carbon hydrogen also single bond. So all the single bonds are sigma. This is what also single bond. This is also carbon-carbon single bond. 
you talk about these two carbon bond is double bond when there's a double bond that means there's a sigma bond and there's a pi bond correct so if there is a for example i have the carbon carbon double bond that means one is sigma bond and another is pi bond if i have carbon carbon any uh, carbon hydrogen or carbon carbon single bond that means it's a sigma bond only if i have triple bond that is i have one sigma and two pi hope you understand correct so here it is a double bond so this is one sigma and one pi here this is a single bond so it's all one sigma this is double bond this is one sigma and one pi here it's single bond so one sigma this is also a double bond so this is one sigma and one pi so if we count this the number of pi is 3 pi bond is 3 count the number of sigmas 1 2 1 2 6 is carbon hydrogen and 6 is carbon carbon right that is 12 sigma is 12 please note that don't make mistake here when there is a double bond there has to be a sigma and pi bond both See, double bond doesn't mean this is just a pi bond double bond means there is a sigma bond and pi bond both right so in this case if you see there are 6 sigma bond of 6 carbon hydrogen and there are 6 sigma bond for carbon carbon also and there are 3 pi bond for double bond correct double bond means one sigma bond and one pi bond let's take another example c6 h12 so if you talk about c6 h12 it is something like carbon this is the structure it is all carbon actually so let me draw that All carbon. If you see, they are twelve hydrogen actually, right? So there has to be C six H twelve. So let me draw six more hydrogens. Let me draw six more hydrogens like this. So each of the carbon will have two hydrogen, right? So now I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 hydrogens and 6 carbon. Correct? Now let's see the bond. If you see there is no double bond or single bond only, that means there is no pi bond, all sigma bond only. So if you see there is one sigma bond here, one sigma here, one with this carbon hydrogen, one with this carbon hydrogen, this carbon hydrogen will have one, one with this, one with this, one with this. This, this, and this carbon hydrogen, and all this carbon carbon bond also will have one sigma. So we count six carbon carbon sigma bond plus 12 carbon hydrogen sigma bond. This 12 plus 6 that is 18 sigma bonds, and pi bond is 0. Correct. Let's take the next example CH2 Cl2. Let's draw this. CH2 and Cl2. It's pretty simple. So if you see carbon has four bonds and all single bonds, so it has four sigma bonds. There is no pi bond. All are sigma bonds. There is no pi bond. This is done. Let's take this guy. CH2, C, CH2. That is, I have CH2, double bond carbon, double bond C, H2. This is my structure so if you see how many single bond one so this will have sigma bond this is also sigma this one also will have one sigma one sigma one sigma and one sigma since double bond it will have one pi also one pi also so we count this one two three four five six six sigma and pi is two pi that is my answer correct Let's take this one CH3NO2. So I have CH3NO2. So here you see this single bond, sigma bond, single bond, sigma bond, single bond, sigma bond, single bond, sigma bond, double bond that is one sigma and one pi, single bond that is one sigma. Count the number of sigma bond one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, right? six sigma, pi bond, one pi. Let's take the last one that is HCO and HCS3. Structure will be H, 
CO and H C H. So we're having difficulty in understanding the structure. Just hold on for some time. We'll talk about what are these compounds and how to draw the, draw the structures. Just I'm as you, these things we'll know in the later chapter where you will learn how to write the structures. So this is a structure. So this single bond that is one sigma, double bond this is one sigma and one pi, single bond one sigma, 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 single bond one sigma. Correct. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 sigmas bond and there's only one pi. That's nice. So with that you can easily see there is a single bond that's one sigma, it's double bond, one sigma and one pi. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.